This is Izzy Brown reporting for Civil Justice. We're here on Manus Island and today we had an amazing day. We went out to an island. Izzy is cruising to the island! <laughs> It's called Two Islands because there's two islands next to each other and two sister islands and we met the traditional landowner um, from there, Bill. We had a barbecue on the beach. We also got to meet um, some of the refugees that they have been here for um, over six years now. Uh, they were from Afghanistan and they're still waiting. I've been nearly six years in Manus Island. I have been here six years, since 2013. Around six years. And do you know what's happening with your case? No, I don't know anything. I have no idea. The Australian government has told you nothing? No, they said nothing for us. It's six years we were waiting, but they did nothing for us. And when Scott Morrison says the camps are closed, there's no one here, what does that mean to you? Mm -hmm. No, Scott Morrison is lying. We are still in Monus Island and we are still in, in that compound. He's lying to the world. I am one of those guys and a sleep seeker that I have been here and I'm still on Monus Island and I'm living inside the compound. Yeah, we, we're still here. <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. We're still in Manus Island. It's still waiting? Yeah, still waiting. And the PNG government has recently moved a lot of people to Port Moresby. Um, do you know what your fate is? No, actually, they moved their negative one. They are not refugee. They came and told us, which I'm including those guys, they told us that you have two options. You want to go to Moresby or you have to move uh, East Loringao compound uh, because of they told us it's uh, maintenance going on in that compound 70 men uh, that compound got damaged uh, and it takes three weeks three to three months if you go to Musbi you will stay in a hotel and we will return you back to Manus Island do you think that's a true story no I don't think that is a true story. If really they wanted to re repair that compound, just they can they could move us to other those, those to another compound. So they, they could um, no. book a hotel in Loringau town. They, they didn't need to move us uh, to Musmi. So I didn't move and I decided to stay here because there is no differences between Manus and Musvi. We are still in detention center. And um, what is your message for the Australian government? For the Australian government, if, if they release us from Manus Island and they take us a safe country, any country, just we want a safe country and a peaceful country. So it's enough. Six years here, we human being here, and we want to go out from here. Uh, we send lots of messages, mm. but there is no here to hear us. Uh, we send lots of messages to Australia, but still, I'm asking them it's enough. Slavery is enough. We are not. Uh, like a football ball to, to shoot us and they pass to another, another. We are tired of this living. We are breathing. Actually, we are not living. We are breathing to survive.
And I asked him, it's enough, please. My dream is uh, I want to live in a, a good society, in a peace country, no war, out of war. Uh, I escape from war and I want to stay in a good society, peace. And it's enough. Six years is a long time. We are uh, uh, stay away from our family, our uh, father, mother, and and we just wanted them to take us or, or send us to a safe country. So, and what is your dream for the future? Ah, dream for the future. Everyone has a dream. I want to live in a peace country, in a peace society. I'm 30 years old. Since I born, you know my country, Afghanistan. I raised up, grew up in a society that you have never feel, you never feel safe. When you leave your house, you don't know that you are coming back alive or not. I lost my family's members. Just so you want to leave. Yes. Thank you. I said thanks for those people. They fight for us to get free from here and uh, to all Australian people. We are we are not criminal. We are we escape from war. We escape from uh, war countries and. We want a peace country. The Australian people, those people that they stand uh, up with refugee and 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 they fight for refugee justice and freedom. We really appreciate those people and we thank those people. Yeah, the struggle continues, so, you know, there's still 130 people on the island. Um, they haven't been told what's going to happen to them or whether they'll move to Port Moresby or whether things are finishing up. They've been told nothing, so they're still caught in that limbo, um, yeah, waiting, just waiting, endlessly waiting. That's why we got to keep doing what we do, I guess try and work out other ways in and around and about this system of oppression and yeah, I think outside the box to to get people out of the box. <laughs> yeah. Till next time. Ciao for now.